President Obama, who is a man with a super ambitious agenda for his second term and not a lot of time to get it all done. ABC's Martha Raddatz in Washington this morning, guest hosting this week. Martha, good morning. Good morning, Dan. Hey, good morning, Martha. Great to see you. Well, one of, one, one of the priorities the president has on his agenda, obviously, immigration reform. He's taking it up on Tuesday. Can he get this done? Well, we'll have to see. We've, got, we've also got this bipartisan group of senators coming up with a plan as well, and they will probably present that plan this week. We'll be talking to Senator John McCain, Senator Bob Mendendez. They're working together on this plan. Whether President Obama detracts from the plan by going out on the road, going to Nevada on Tuesday, we're going to ask him about that as well. Yeah, there's this interesting theory that just by being associated with the plan, it could drive some people away from the plan in Congress. It's a complicated dynamic. But let's talk about this extraordinary interview, the joint interview, the first time it's ever happened, with President Obama and Hillary Clinton sitting down and talking to 60 Minutes. The whole thing airs tonight. I wonder, is there talk in Washington that this is, in some ways, uh, President Obama picking favorites in the race to replace him in 2016? because Joe Biden is also talking about maybe running. That's right. And, you know, Joe Biden isn't sitting right next to the president in that interview. I don't think President Obama has ever done an interview sitting next to anybody but his wife. So you bet there's a lot of talk about that. And we'll talk to our powerhouse roundtable about that. You even heard Hillary Clinton say that this is a surprise. Who would have thought four years ago that they would be sitting together and being so close? Very interesting. Also this week, hearings, confirmation hearings for the president's defense choice, defense secretary choice, uh, Chuck Hagel, begin. At times, this seemed very iffy. What are the, what are the odds that this is actually going to go through? Well, I, I think the chances are very good that this will go through. He's had a series of meeting, meetings, including with Senator McCain, trying to work out differences, trying to basically say what they want to hear, I think, and explain his positions further. Uh, they had some controversy over Israel, over Iran. We're going to ask Senator McCain about that this morning and whether he would now vote for Chuck Hagel. Martha, thank you. Martha's got a big show this morning. Senators John McCain and Robert Menendez, as she said, plus, as she mentioned, the Powerhouse Roundtable, all coming up later this morning with Martha Raddatz on This Week.